Hey guys, this is Coach Shane with uh, Game Day Baseball. Welcome to another episode of Both Sides of the Ball. So as strength conditioning coach, I love the push-up. And the push-up is just so effective for building core strength, even leg strength. But for sure, shoulder strength, very important in all sports. It's a very good move for baseball as well as any sport. But it's often done wrong. I mean, terrible. In fact, some ways that until you can do a perfect push-up, you shouldn't do per, uh, push-ups at all, but I'm gonna show you how you can progress up into a perfect push-up. So let me show you what a perfect push-up looks like. We're gonna get hands directly under shoulders with fingers straight ahead. So we don't wanna have fingers pushed away, fingers straight ahead. We're going to kind of twist our hands into the ground. Can you see how my elbows kind of go from poking out to the side? So a lot of bad push-ups elbows are out to the side what we want is we want to kind of screwdriver hands into the ground so that the elbows push back a really good analogy of that is you know you never see a boxer punching like this so we want to be down here when you're punching you're here so when you're doing push-ups we want to be in the same spot so ear shoulder hip knee and ankle all go in a straight line chest all the way to the ground chin all the way to the ground now some some push-ups that i see sometimes are like this the head head bob push-up okay and sometimes you're just not strong enough to do a perfect push-up so what do you do here's how you do a progression so you can take a barbell in a rack similar to this um, i'm sure you've seen it at the gym there's there's levels that you can adjust the bar now what i'm going to do is get my hands directly under my shoulders. I'm going to kind of, with a barbell case, kind of pretend that I'm bending the bar, but I'm sending my shoulders straight back. Now, I can have shoulder, hip, knee and ankle, all in a straight line. Now, as you can imagine, this one is super easy. So when I lower it, I'm gonna walk my feet back just a little bit more. Now I'm crossing head, that's a little bit harder. I can lower it again, it gets a little bit harder. Yep can lower it again it gets even harder then I can finally work myself down to the ground into a perfect push-up now for example here's another option it can be where you may need to start with just a wall push-up that's fine but we want to be in a place where we can get our hands all the way even with our shoulders so a box is another good way to progress. So we can go chest, press out, to the chest, press out. Now this particular box is 30 inches. I can flip it over to a 24 inch. If I flip it down one more time, it gets even harder. So the basic idea is start at an incline, work your way down, building into perfect push-ups. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact with any of our coaches here at Game Day Baseball and keep playing hard and training hard.